Hello, this is Nick Paulson from the FarmDoc team at the University of Illinois, bringing you this five-minute FarmDoc video. USDA released their latest projections for crop prices for the 2025 marketing year on Friday, November 14th. We use these price projections to put together estimates for ARC and PLC program payments for 2025. A couple of items to note about these payment projections. First, they incorporate changes to the ARC and PLC program designs that were outlined in the One Big Beautiful Bill Act that was signed into law this summer. PLC reference prices were increased, the ARC revenue guarantee was increased, and the payment ban for ARC was widened. These changes increased the likelihood and potential size of payments from both programs compared with their previous designs under the 2018 Farm Bill. In addition, for 2025, producers will receive the larger of the two program payments. Second, we want to emphasize that these are just projections based on current information available. Price expectations will continue to change over the course of each crop's marketing year. Also, any payments that are eventually triggered will not be determined and paid until October of 2026, nearly a full year from now. We estimated payment rates in dollars per base acre for the seven largest covered commodities in terms of base acreage. Long grain rice base acres are projected to receive the largest payment rate of nearly $286 per base acre. Peanuts are projected to receive $197 per base acre. Seed cotton is projected to receive nearly $128 per base acre. Corn is projected to receive nearly $66 per base acre. The projected payment rates for wheat and grain sorghum are both projected at close to $50 per, per base acre. And finally, soybeans are projected to receive the smallest payment rate at just over $22 per base acre. Combining those projected payment rates with data on enrolled base acres for each commodity results in a total payment projection of more than $13.5 billion in ARC and PLC support for these crops in 2025. Payment rates vary around those averages across counties in the US. Payment rates average using the base acres for each of the commodities are projected to be largest in various counties in the Western US and parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. These are areas where base acres are located for the higher payment rate commodities, such as long grain rice, peanuts, and seed cotton. Midwest counties in Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana have payment rates in the $50 to $60 per base acre range, with base acres being mainly corn and soybeans. Other areas with lower average payments would include base acres spread across wheat, corn, soybeans, and grain sorghum. Income and return projections for most major row crops remain poor for the 2025 and 2026 crop years, with many operations facing increasing financial stress following two years of poor returns in 2023 and 2024. The estimated $13.5 billion in ARC and PLC payments, if realized, would provide significant to support to producers with base acres for these commodities. However, significant uncertainty remains throughout the remainder of the 2025 marketing year, and even if realized, these payments are still nearly a year away from being available to producers. Additional ad hoc support continues to be discussed by the Trump administration and lawmakers to address the situation of relatively low prices and high production costs facing row crop producers. The challenge for policymakers will be to determine how to design and target any additional ad hoc support over the next few months so that assistance can be timely while also trying to avoid inflationary effects that could keep production costs elevated and lead to a cycle of calls for ad hoc support moving forward. Thanks for watching this five minute farm doc video. Please consider subscribing to our channel to make sure you are notified of future updates from the farm doc team.